Welcome to my marvelous Upsy's summer birthday party finale. Enjoy! Hello friends, today we are parting one last time to celebrate my 7th birthday. My birthday is August 7th, and my gotcha day is August 31st so I have been celebrating for a while meow, but I'm going to wrap up my party today. However, there's still a couple more weeks left of summer and I intend to enjoy every moment of it so in a way my party will continue. Actually I still have a couple birthday gifts to receive so I'll be sharing that before summer ends. Don't mind my messy space here. I was making confetti for my finale. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, this is my catnip infused birthday bag. If you have been joining me for a little while Mio, then you probably already know how a lot of times it takes me quite a while to warm up to new toys. So, I didn't dive into deep with my new catnip bag, but later on while mama was out of our room I partied pretty hard with it, though, not too hard of course. I got a few new summer colored themed fake mousy toys too. I was immediately intrigued by my new catnip bag, and I did go in it even before mama started using treats as an incentive. But, when mama was out of the room I was rolling around on the bag and I flattened it a bit. However, I hear the bag my sister Jelly Belly received was flat and completely in just seconds of her receiving it as she went wildly rolling around on hers. If you are not just joining me for the first time then you might recall how I share my bedroom with mama so my siblings and two older kitty friends don't really get to see much of me since my emergency surgery three summers ago. I have to stay in my room because my brothers have not fully accepted me back yet. In fact, my brother Pop Pop is really hard to figure out, though mama and I don't believe he intentionally is being mean to me. He plays rough with everyone. However, my brother Dusty is extremely jealous of me and all the special time I get with Mama. Plus he knows the treats are stored in my bedroom and I'm the only cat in the house with their own bedroom. So Dusty can be an extreme meanie head, he has gotten much better this past year, but you never know what you're going to really get with him. He's even attacked Mama after she blocked him from tagging me once. I absolutely love all of my new toys, but when I first got them I was feeling a little overwhelmed however. Since getting them, I have played with them much more. These bigger fake mousy toys are summer colored, which I think is really catastic. I've gotten so many birthday, gotcha day, and every other day pets from mama. I love it when she pets me, she gives the best cheeky pets. Sometimes I purr so loudly when she pets me. I promise to share a short sometime soon to show you how loud she can make me purr. Though, my brother Pop Pop is probably the loudest purring kitty when he purrs because you can hear him throughout the entire house, and I live upstairs, so that's saying something. My catnip bag is really catastic. I very much enjoyed exploring it. By the way, if you think your kitty friends would enjoy a bag like this, you can find them on Chewy's website. They have many great items. Once my belly was full of birthday and gotcha day treats I took a rest. I stared at my catnip bag while I was resting. Even though I am usually very much unsure about new toys and don't always dive right into them, so to speak, I was very interested by my catnip bag right away. You might not think that my catnip bag had me too interested, but mama knows me, so she knows by my reactions that this bag has me very much intrigued. She also knew I'd end up playing with it more when she wouldn't be there to see it or record it, and sure enough I left her evidence of just that. At least she got to see me playing more with my laptop and the toys she put on it. These are probably my favorite new toys, plus mama sometimes freshens them up with catnip, 
so that makes them even more enjoyable and excitable. This orange fake mousy toy is my most favorite, not sure why, but it just is. My sisters all love these particular fake mousy toys too, and ever since we were kittens, two of my sisters have especially gone wild for them. So since I had gotten extras for our birthday and gotcha day, I had thought I'd let mama share with them. Well all of my sisters got to play with them for a little while, but one of my sisters, accidentally knocked a fake mousy toy over to the dog's area, and unfortunately our one doggy friend ate the toy. Luckily it came out the next day, but meow, my siblings, and no longer have such toys downstairs. If they play in the hallway upstairs they can have them, but the toys can't be left out because we can't be having doggies eating them since that can be very dangerous. If you have doggies and kitties just do your fur babies a favor and be careful. I went in and out of my catnip bag like a million times. I probably should have rubbed all over it while mama was there to see, and even though she really wanted to see, she said she was just glad I had more fun with my new toys when she had discovered evidence that I had indeed played much more with everything. Mama gave me many reassurance pets while I was still investigating some of my new toys. Sometimes this works better than other times and I will immediately play more with my toys. Sometimes it like sorta kinda works as I'll check things out a little more but won't really play anymore. And sometimes it's just a complete fail no matter what. I'd say, this time, it was in the middle as I checked things out a bit more but didn't play too hard. So, here's one of my top favorite gifts ever. Ah uh, how I couldn't wait to get my paws on this. Mama says she had no idea it came with all this. We scored big here. So we got this possum measure spoon which is really great and all kitties should have one. We got not just one treat dispenser fake mousy toy as mama thought, but we got three. Plus a bonus super easy one. I immediately came to check out all of this even before mama grabbed the treats back. I already knew it was treats related and just couldn't wait to be able to start playing with it all. Mama says this kit is indeed a kit all kitties should have. She found the kit on Chewy's website if you'd like to check it out for your kitties and yourself. Finally after waiting for what felt like forever, finally. Mama gave me one of the treats dispenser toys. It's great they give you so many of these toys in the kit because meow, Mama can hide them all over our room for me each day and I can go hunting for treats, daily. The measuring spoon will come in handy too in order to make sure I don't overeat because it's very important not to do that. Right away I was ready to play. I had such a catastic good time with my new treat dispenser toys. I got to test each one of them out, and Mama has been hiding them all over our room for me every day since I got them. Though, when I'm feeling a tad bit lazy-ish, I still have the power to get Mama to just hand me a few treats upon demand, but I'm not really demanding. I just score myself treats by being totally handsome, my totally handsome self. I'll admit, the treats didn't come out as easily as I had hoped. Mama even left the window switch wide open to avoid any potential frustrations from occurring, because it's very important to make such things fun and not frustrating. If you make it too hard for your kitty they could be driven mad as the frustration can be brutal, but even if it doesn't get that far, it may just be a waste as your kitty will lose interest in such a toy very quickly if it is too frustrating. Some kitties will give up immediately but some kitties will not be able to stop themselves from continuing to try to get the treats. So, if it's too difficult, and the treats aren't easily coming out they'll be under a lot of frustration which can lead to many health concerns. So make sure when using any treat dispenser toys for any of your pets that you make sure to make it fun and not frustrating.
I had the best time with my new treat dispenser toys, the best time, like seriously. Mama kept close watch to make sure the treats were coming out for me. I very much enjoyed every second of this and at first it took me a little to warm up to the activity, but I got into it very much so very quickly. At first though, I had been thrown off a bit because the treats didn't just pour out, but then I realized it's not too much effort to start working it to get the treats out, so then I really started having a possum time with it. I kept looking for the one treat I lost, and I couldn't find it, but luckily Mama did and showed me where it was right away. That sure would have bothered me if I didn't get to find it. It was weird though because I kept thinking treats were coming out when they weren't always coming out. So it's important to make sure you watch to see if the treats are coming out or if they get stuck. Somehow my window switch where the treats come out had closed slightly somehow so mama had to open it back up for me. You don't want too many coming out at once, but leaving the window switch all the way open didn't make any extra come out at once. At least not for me. I told Mama I wanted to try all of the treats dispensers right now and so we did. Mama knows how to keep me happy. I took a rest for a bit. Then I tested out the last treat dispenser and the easiest. Yeah I don't think mama will fill this one much because the treats just poured right out of it. Ha 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 ha. I'm thinking she might not have read the entire box or something and we might have missed a step or something because it was way too easy. Not that I'm complaining though, I like easy too. I certainly enjoyed all of my treats fun, no matter how easy or difficult it was to get the treats out of my new dispensers, I had the most catastic time playing with them, and I get to enjoy them every day meow. After I got done testing out all of my new treats dispensers and I made sure to test them all out right away, I took a much needed rest, and I enjoyed many pets from Mama. Did I tell you she gives me the best pets? Because she does. I know I told you she does but I thought I'd make sure to tell you again. Mama says I look too cute here. Can you tell I just ate treats ha ha ha? So this is my new beach chair, you probably noticed it when I was testing out my treats dispensers, but this is when mama first gave me the chair. I absolutely love it, but so far I haven't let mama record me on it all the way. I let her record me eating treats from it and scratching it up though. Furniture items and whatnot can sometimes take me quite a bit to warm up to. I love anything I can scratch though, 
so usually I'll warm right up to scratching items, so I wasn't ready to lay on my chair right away, but I'll eat treats from it immediately no problem. In fact, you didn't get to see, but I lured mama over to the treats right after she gave me this chair because I knew she'd allow me to have some treats for testing out my new gift. I get rewarded for checking out my new gifts. Who gets rewarded for accepting a gift? Ha 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 me. See I love scratching, these scratch pads here are my favorite. Mama did real good picking them out and I really needed new ones so it was a really nice gift. Here I go testing out my new palm tree. I love scratching this already. I know, I got stuck, but Mama helped immediately. Luckily she was there. This made me a little weary about my new chair though. So meow, it will take me a little longer to warm up to it probably, but I do very much love this gift so if mama keeps putting treats on it I'm sure I'll be all over it in no time. I just love my summer vibes over here. I'm about to check out another birthday and gotcha day gift. At this point I don't know what was for my birthday and what was for my gotcha day. Ha 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 ha. So, I got my very own pool. Miel, you might have seen my favorite YouTube kitty with his pool and water mat, which are the same exact items I have. But I had my items first. And if you recall I shared my water mat fun several weeks ago in part 1 of my catastic summer birthday party. I think it's rad my favorite YouTube kitty has the same items as me, but I think mama is a little bitter after thinking about it for too long because she wants me to get lots of views and we had these items first yet we'll probably never get even a fraction of the views our favorite YouTube kitty gets. I had to sniff the water before letting mama fill my pool. She never lets me have tap water after finding out our water company uses as a cleanser not so good for pets health. So any water I get is bottled spring water. You may think this is a waste of bottled water but mama disagrees as she says anything for her for baby's happiness, health, and safety is always worth it. So, I basically reacted exactly as mama expected to my new pool. I basically just watched it. At first I was up closer to it, and then I laid back a bit to watch. We put in the pool toys that came with my pool, but we added in my swimming fake fishy toys too, though, we should have put new batteries in them beforehand, but the one swam for a bit and had me intrigued. In case you couldn't tell, I had a blast celebrating my birthday and gotcha day. I also wanted to tell you that our ratty friends from our Rodent Rascals Adventures family also have the same water mat and pool as I, and they too shared their water fun this week. They had a lot of fun with their pool and water mat. Mama wishes they too would receive lots more views. Honestly, I think my ratty friends are with me when I say this, but we really don't care about views. If you watch our channel great, and if not it's your loss, not ours, hey we're still having fun either way. So if you're not there to see it then that's your loss, not ours. I sure don't like missing good times, but if you do then that's on you. Oh well. Anyway, enjoy a little more of my cuteness, and I'll see you next Saturday for some rest of summer fun. Mama doesn't want to hear the words end and summer together. Once the seasons change though, I'll only be posting my new adventures once a month, but we'll try to do bi-weekly if you want me to. See you soon, happy Saturday.
Thank you so much for partying with my marvelous Upsy one last time for his birthday and gotcha days of the year. Don't forget to show him more summer birthday love when you click like share comment and subscribe. Happy Catter Day!